Borida, and welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today I'm playing Ratchet and Clank 3. In the last episode, we died a lot. In this episode, we're probably going to die a lot again. I think I used that over an intro in another video as well. Probably, I can't remember. In any case, um, we basically started off in Crash Site. We made it through part one. We made our way to this data thing, or to this um, escape pod. We found a data disk, and now we need to go and decode that data disk. So we need to make our way back to Starship Phoenix. However... We need to make our way through the next part of this of this uh, of this planet and make our way to the ship again. So let's do that, shall we? Unfortunately, there's no easy way of going back. We have to go this way. Annoyingly. And because I've said in the last video that. Uh, for this planet, we're not going to worry about the catch, I'm just going to use these mini turrets. But besides, this isn't really story stuff anymore, this is just, we need to get back to the ship, so I guess we have to do it. It's not optional, but it's not story at the same time. I'm going to try and just sort of waltz through here as much as I can. It's not too difficult this part, but to be honest, only that we do have these things to kill every now and again. Okay, we have 205,000 bolts now, and it's a continue point. Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh boy, one of my least favorite planets. <laughs> okay, what I am going to do very quickly, because I'm pretty sure there's a skill point for it. Now that the story element's finished, and we're not really caring too much about the cat anyway. I think there's a skill point for it anyway. Maybe I'm mistaken. There we go, we got a skill point, hooray! <laughs> there might have been like 10 or 15 or something. Ten screech ducks. 
Oh, they're not actually pterodactyls. Oh yeah, suck it up. That's something to do with the suck cannon. Anywho. Oh, we need to go to, the, uh, to Iridia first. Ugh. Fine. Maybe we should have had more ammo first. Oh, we can just go to the vendor now. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I want that. Uh, do I want armor or do I want to turn things into ducks? Ah, uh, ducks are cool though. I mean, to be fair, on this planet, I don't think the armor is going to be that much, that that much of a problem. Plus, we get lots of bolts from these things anyway. You got here just in time, Sarge. Looks like the Noids are getting ready to attack through those tunnels. Yeah, because these are just Tyranoids, aren't they? So. Incoming! Release those Tyranoids! <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Ray. Just, just turning them all into ducks. Really? Three hits and dead? Okay. <laughs> you got here just in time, Sarge. Looks like the Noids are getting ready to attack through those tunnels. Incoming! Release those Terranoids! These ones are easy to get because they don't actually start shooting until they get to the end of the bridge. <laughs> right, these ones, I'll just use the Annihilator. And then I'll use the quack array on the smaller ones. Oh ho, I didn't see you guys. Ugh. Oh yeah, by the way, if I haven't mentioned it already, then the cats resumes, by the way, so now we can't use anything version 5. Uh, which is actually quite annoying, because it'll be incredibly helpful here. There you go. Hooray! Now we get... Hang on a minute! You didn't do shit! <laughs> right, I'm ambushing Red Rock Valley. I think this one I'm using the... There we go. So I don't have to worry about anything. Use the right analog stick to aim. And press circle or R1 to fire rockets. Those noids are more coordinated than we've seen before. Maybe up against something new here.
That's the first hit I've taken. At least on this on this mission. Hooray! Fifteen thousand bolts. Assassination. Like you're going solo on this oh, mission, you've got to be yeah, joking. The squad's got a mandatory aerobics class we can't miss. Anyway, give those four right scum sacks a whooping for us. Uh, isn't it just those big guys I need to take out anyway? There you go, that's one. There we go. <laughs> this reminds me of the Battle of Hamachi Flats back in 23, when it took on an army of ghost pirate robots with nothing but a quack array and a half charge crotchetizer. Is that why some of the older guys call you Cabin Boy, sir? And, uh, all units maintain radio silence. <laughs> that must have been a real feather in your cap, Chief. <laughs> Keep talking, J31. We'll see how you like scrub duty for the next six weeks. <laughs> Microphone's gone. There we go. Microphone is back. Okay, the last one's over there. Hooray! <laughs> Okay. Reclaim the valley. Sarge, we need to activate those turrets to create a defensive perimeter around the valley. Oh boy. Ow. There's only four of them, so it's just a case of finding them. Uh, I think maybe we should stick around here and guard this turret. You know, in case the noise try anything sneaky. Oh you my god. Yourself. Pussies. <laughs> Ow. 
Wait, that's the turret you're guarding? That's not even the turret that I've... Oh, God. I've seen stupid, but I've never seen dumb. I mean, help would be appreciated, but you're all just standing there, so there's no point in you doing anything. Oh, hello. Yes, I know. Shush. I thought you were breaking up anyway. I need that health. <laughs> There you go. Oh no! Really? Oh no, I've died. <laughs> now I have to do the whole thing again. Uh, go away. Oh no! Oh, piss. Forget it. That was an accident. It was the Agents of Doom I was trying to go for. Whoa! <laughs> What the hell's happened to your voice, mate? Right. Ow. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, right, let me get my Agents of Doom out. And go! Yes, and now let's not die on the very last one again. I have no idea what the hell that was.
Oh, there it is. Ow. Oh, you've got to be joking! I am hating this so much. I like how the turrets do less damage than the freaking... Bollocks. There we go. Ow! Okay, I took a health point there. Okay. Have I got something following me? I have. Bugger off. Finally! <laughs> the one turret! I hate you. We got the noids on the run. If somebody could push through those tunnels, we could launch a direct assault on the enemy base. There's a room full of noids up ahead, Sarge. You go in and clear them out while I uh, cover the rear. Incoming saucers! There we go. And now I think we just need to go back and defeat all these other enemies. Which should now be easy as pie. Oh, my little lovelies. Hooray! Hey, Sarge, over here! What the? Pretty cool, huh? It's called a warp pad. Great for running away. Yeah, I got an extra one. Yeah, I, the warp pad, we use it like three times or something, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here because this is getting a very long episode now because we kept dying all the time. And in the next episode, we're going to fly off to Starship Phoenix and then give that data disc to Big Al. So in any case, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Rush of the Clank. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me a lot and you get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page, my own Twitter, and on Twitch. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. But until then, 
Goodbye.